Hello Lionhearts, how has your week been? It's turned rather chilly in the last few days, hasn't it? I was actually hoping for a little bit of snow. Now, to start with today, we are going to play a game called Dress Up Warm. So what we're going to do is time ourselves to see how long it takes us to go and find four very warm pieces of clothing and put them on. Okay, so the four are number one, a scarf, number two, a woolly hat, number three, a big warm coat, and number four, your gloves. Okay, so are you ready to go and find them and put them on? Now ask your parents to time you, and then I'd love you to send through your time and some pictures of you all dressed up to our Lionhearts WhatsApp group. Are you ready? On your marks, get set, go! Phew! I did it in two minutes and 34 seconds. How long did it take you? I bet you it took you much quicker than it took me. Our story today is about a young man named Timothy and Timothy learned about Jesus from a very young age. His mum and his grandmother told him all about how amazing Jesus was and so from a very young age he wanted to know more and he read his Bible and he prayed and then eventually he crossed paths with Paul. Do you remember Paul? who used to be Saul, who persecuted the Christians, and then God got his attention by shining a very bright light in his eyes and blinding him. So now Paul was a missionary, traveling all over the world, spreading the news of Jesus, and Timothy went to join him. So let's learn a little bit more about Timothy. Timothy loved to visit his grandmother Lois. His grandmother was kind and good. She loved God and prayed that Timothy would grow up to love God too. Even when Timothy was a small boy, she told him how much God loved him and that God had a special job for him to do when he grew up. Timothy's mother, Eunice, also loved God. She talked to Timothy about God every day. Timothy's love for God grew strong. He wanted to do what was good and right. God has said in the Bible that he will send his son to earth soon, his mother said. We must be ready when he comes. They prayed together. Timothy's mother and grandmother saw how much Timothy loved God's word. When Timothy heard about Jesus, he knew that Jesus was God's promised son. When he grew up, Timothy was Paul, the teacher's helper. Paul wrote letters to Timothy. These letters are in the Bible. Timothy told people about Jesus and what God's word tells us to do. This was the special job God had for Timothy. We can tell other people about Jesus too. Now I know that all of you love Jesus, but do you sometimes feel that praying and reading the Bible is just for grown-ups? Do you know that you are never too young to talk to God and to tell other people about him? We need to be confident to spread the good news of Jesus to everyone around us. Now, Timothy also learned some other very important things. Firstly, to always tell the truth. Secondly, he learned that he should make friends with the people who are lonely. And then thirdly, that he shouldn't be afraid of looking uncool. So for our song today, we are gonna do one of our old favorites, be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Are you ready to sing along? Let's do this. Are you ready? Here we go. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you.
activity today I have sent you a lovely coloring in picture of Timothy and Paul and it says at the bottom Timothy was a young man who helped tell others about Jesus Timothy is such a wonderful example to us that we don't have to be grown-ups to spread the news of Jesus we can do it right now while we're young and I can't wait to see your beautifully colored in pictures Please ask your parents to take a photo of them once you've done them and share them on our Lionhearts WhatsApp group. So Lionhearts, to end our session, we are going to pray. So let's put our hands together, close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear Jesus, we thank you that you are always with us and that we don't ever have to be scared to tell others about you. We thank you that you are our best friend and we want to tell the world that you are amazing and that we are so happy that you are in our lives. And I pray today, Lord, that you are with the Lionhearts, that they will feel your presence and that you give them a wonderful week. Amen. Okay, Lionhearts, I hope you have a great week. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.